when my husband and I first moved to Bangkok, I, I really did not know what I was going to do. Uh, I rested for a while and then um, got to know the city a little bit, at least in this uh, international part of town. And it became obvious to me because the sex industry to Western men is so in your face here. Uh, you can't walk down the street without noticing it. And um, the more I observed, the more it became obvious to me what was going on. And my countrymen, uh, my countrymen were using and in many cases abusing these beautiful Thai women. Um, and I, it made me shamed. I was, um, I was very upset by, um, by what I was seeing. So I began to do some research about it, ask some people around that have been here all the time, and I began to realize the story of the girls and that it's driven by uh, the girls that are all from Isan. And they come here because of poverty. Um, they come here because of a lack of education. Um, if they're been going to um, educate a son or, or a daughter and they only have money for one, it's going to be the son even though the daughter is the one who's going to support them for the rest of their life. Um, so lack of education is part of it. Um, childhood sexual abuse is part of it. Domestic violence uh, plays a part. Um, there are many pieces, but it's all under the umbrella of poverty. Um, and um, every girl's story is a little bit different and a lot the same. Pressure to care for your family is, is a huge burden for them. I stand on two pillars. One is family, the other is education, formal education, any kind of education, non formal as well. Um, many of the girls had only a grade nine, some of them a grade six. One of our first girls only had a grade three education. Um, in some cases, it's just literacy we work on, in other cases, we take them through university if that's what they desire to do. Most of the girls have a grade nine when they come to us, so they need three years of high school or two years of a GED, one or the other. We have graduated eight from university, from four-year universities, um, in various degrees. And, and by doing that, we are breaking the generational cycle of prostitution within the family itself because it is generational. It's, um, you, you have to break the cycle with some kind of employment that is going to be more than a factory, um, factory um, salary. So education is the way to do that. The other pillar that we stand on is family. Many of these come from, uh, these girls come from families that are uh, broken in one way or another and um, they, they lack training and so in the context of family um, they can learn um, a whole lot of things from hygiene to cooking to um, budgeting to um, caring for each other, to nurturing, all of those pieces are taught under the, under the umbrella at home of the beginnings. The overarching umbrella for, is, for us is the person of Jesus Christ, and we believe that um, the only way these girls are going to be totally whole is, um, is for them to know a man who loves them unconditionally and will not abuse them.